Hello everyone and welcome back to another Live at Five. I am your host, curator Kevin Atkinson with the Center for Collections and Research. And on this beautiful spring day when the blue sky is out, the sun is shining, the birds are chirping, we are going to go inside one of Cranbrook's three rather dark historic house museums. So I am busy working with Iris Eichenberg, head and artist in residence in the metalsmithing department, and we are installing a student show. It is going across all three historic houses, and uh, it is being installed yesterday at Cranbrook House, tomorrow at the Frank Lloyd Wright Smith House, and today we are slowly but surely dripping in with students. Uh, there's over 70 artists participating uh, and so what Iris and I challenged the artists to do was to think about alternative history. So, so much of the art and objects that we have on display in the houses um, tell one set of story, the story here of the Saarinens and of Cranbrook Academy of Art in sort of design in the 1920s and 30s. And I've asked these contemporary artists to come in and think about other stories. And so I'm going to put my mask back on. We'll check in on some of the students who are installing their work. We'll say hello to Iris and see what we can learn. Now, what you see and learn today is, is working. We are busy installing the art, uh, but I want to invite everyone on March 28th to sign up for our free opening where uh, in about 90 minutes with professional photography by Eric Perry. I'll, I will be showing uh, all the student work that you see today and more in a more formal lecture format where we'll also have uh, uh, artist statement as well. So let me get my mask back on somehow one handed and curiously I have said no uh, food in the house and I'm not sure if that means that someone left their spam out here for me. Or if that is just an art piece I'm supposed to be uh, picking up. So we've made it here to the dining room. I don't know if Ian and Iris would like to say hello to thousands of followers. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to Sarah House. And Ian what? And Iris. Ian and Iris. Ian, what are you doing? I'm filling a, a plate vestibule with clothing that came from a Michelangelo pistoletto piece that was shown in Landlord Colors over a year and a half ago. And uh, I'm also working with plates over here that I've been painting over the old plates. And so there's one reveal of a new plate. Uh, some of this has to do with uh, food and consumption. And I do like that your plates have mirrored the same telescoping forms of Mr. Sarnin, although I'm not quite sure how we feel about the fake zinnia there, more of a Smith House move. Okay, well, get back to it. And if we're uh, seeing artwork on a theme, um, Desi, who is a student in the sculpture department, has wrapped Kiwi's Muse in the courtyard. So Kiwi's Muse is looking quite resplendent in her new wrapping. Iris, would you like to show us your piece? Yes, come along. So this is Iris Eichenberg, head of the metalsmithing uh, department, her weaving. What can you tell us about this? Well, it's not weaving, it is actually, it's a rug, a latch of rug, um, which I made over a period of uh, several years uh, by hand. And uh, it's intertwined in so many different ways. On one hand, the, the wool in this rug was given to Cranbrook by an alumni who studied here in the 70s, hence the color palette. And I felt drawn to the color palette because um, what I was doing here was uh, uh, a portrait of the landscape in which I grew up in Germany and uh, I tried to capture 
not the landscape as such, but the landscapeness. So if you walk away, you actually sort of perceive more and more how um, a certain kind of landscape and fields, very typical for the area I come from, is um, re represented in, uh, in this work. Um, so dealing with being interested in identity and how landscape landscapes are actually uh, producing us. Um, I'm mean also looking at Kronberg as production of landscape, a landscape which produces us. So um, as, how to say it, I think, I think we all uh, get a chance with this project to become part, part of a legacy, and especially in a time where, of COVID, where we exchange things so rarely, to come together and actually come together in that place is um, it's fun for everybody. And um, I feel uh, nicely embraced in this context here in uh, Loya Saranen's studio. Perfect. Thank you. And of course, she has replaced her hooked rug uh, from one of the Saranen's antique finish rugs that I will be getting into storage here shortly. We have another student down here. Say hello to thousands of followers. Hello. Or a few. Um, Zahara, what are you working on? I am working with these chairs and I'm observing the stains on the chairs. And in some cases, I'm completely covering them with pearls and pins. And in other cases, such as that chair over there, I will be highlighting the stains. So I'm just playing with, um, I'm really interested in what caused these stains, I suppose on these like really beautifully woven chairs. Yeah. I'm just like really just highlighting them and just showing the accumulation of history on these chairs. Perfect. Yeah. Drawing our eye to something that me, the lowly curator, would not necessarily want us to focus on, but that is the role of the artist. Okay, happy pinning. Thank you. Elsewhere in this room, where we get another great view of Desi's work. Now, Desi also did another piece, what she called the cocktail party here. And so you see these uh, three figures. And if we get closer to look at the cocktail party, you'll see that they're all cameras that are looking <laughs> one person to the next. Now, Elsewhere in this room, we see Jessica, which is a plaster sculpture by Willie Wayne Smith, who is one half of the painting department. And so he's interested, he replaced Carl Millis's head of a dancing girl. Uh, and you can see the sort of conversation among friends here in the cozy corner. Now, the other half of the painting department, the head of the painting former head of the painting department, Wallace Mitchell, former president of the Academy. He did this uh, still life in the 1930s. He lived here in the house in the 1970s. And Martha Maisko, who's the current uh, co-head of painting, did this sort of tribute to Wallace Mitchell. And so you'll see that it actually is the same still life of flowers of Wally Mitchell, uh, but photo manipulated. It's a photo collage in Photoshop on top of an image of the cozy corner. And then she hand painted these flowers and then scanned the flowers in. And the entire thing is done on a, a, a piece of aluminum. It's then printed on a piece of aluminum. And so she's referencing the architecture of the room, the lines on the columns, uh, the weavings, the photographs, the flowers, and creating a new response. And I think that we'll just head upstairs to see what is happening up there. Before we get upstairs, I'll just point out a few other student works. Here in the book room, we have a piece that is some sort of little game that you could sit in the chair and play. Or one of my favorite pieces from Cooper Siegel, he has made a sort of iteration of the Altelier Primavera vase uh, slumped onto this ceramic brick. Or the Pegasus by Victor Schreckenghost, who has landed on a new quilted landscape. 
made just for the Pegasus here in this room. And I'd like to wish a very happy 142nd birthday to Loya Saarinen. And here on her birthday, as we slowly dismantle her house. Upstairs, there's just a couple of other pieces we'll be busy installing here for the next couple of hours. Julian Jones, a textile, a textile from the head of the weaving department, Mark Newport, there. Uh, from the 4D department, a letter that's coming out. And then I thought we would end by saying hello to Kaya. Kaya. Kaya, who since 10 this morning has been reconstructing Loya Sarnan's rug in aquarium pebbles. And so we can see here hanging uh, is the original Loya Sarnan rug designed and woven here at Cranbrook in the 1930s. And now we are reconstructing a version of it in Aquarium Pebbles. Would you like to say anything to the followers? Um, my knees and hips hurt. <laughs> yes, this is a very painful labor here, but it's turning out pretty amazing. Yeah, and lots more to go. Okay, well, thank you. Thanks for letting us interrupt. And no, my sister says, I bet she dares me to kick them and I will not be kicking your aquarium pebbles. And I've even made a sign, be aware, rock rug, very fragile. So thanks so much for joining for another Live at Five tour. I have to let you go so that I can get back to helping the students in their installation. Again, on March 28th, we will have the official opening of the event and we will do a walkthrough tour with photographs from Eric Perry, the uh, Detroit photographer who is coming in to document this special installation. I hope that you'll head over to Center cranbrook.edu and sign up for the event on March 28th. I'll be back with another Live at 5 on Instagram next Tuesday at 5 o'clock. Until then, be well, everyone. <laughs>